from the coast to the marvelous mountain ranges, through the tall wooded forests, and across the vast expanse of ocean and seas, there are many wonders to behold. One such wonder often neglected, but nonetheless magnificent is the Swamplands. The caterpillar, small and grotesque at this phase of life, makes its home in the outskirts of the swamp. Each inch forward moves him closer to his long-awaited transformation into a butterfly, perhaps the swamp's most beautiful and delicate inhabitant of all. It's spring, and the dragonfly knows it is time to find a summer companion. This male emits a silent mating signal and must wait to hear back from the females. It's go time. White herons are also in the business of finding a partner. They watch each other's hunting styles carefully to evaluate if the mate can put dinner on the table. This blue heron is looking a bit torn, and rightfully so. To its right are the hunting grounds, to the left a potential mate. The S curvature in the neck is a sign of distress. He must choose quickly. Well done. Nighttime falls quickly in the swampland, but proves to be uneventful. It's a new day in the swamp, and the animals awaken to a fresh start. The nutria arises early to take a morning swim. Commonly mistaken for a beaver, the nutria is part of the rodent family, a cousin to the sewer rat. These gentle creatures once nearly reached extinction due to overhunting for their silky fur pelts for fine Russian hats. Turtles here are in abundance. Their thick shells protect the population from predators. Adherent vegetation clings to shells as camouflage. This is the Paul Tucker turtle. Though small, it is known for its boldness and ferocity. Flapping its neck skin is, of course, a call for companionship, of which, unfortunately, this one is in dire need. The variety of arachnids in the swamp is vast, outnumbering any other species in its genus or phylum. The yellow marsh spider dangles in its web with a catch that will feed it for two months. A life lost for one is one sustained for another. The young spiderling descends to prime the harvest before mother can finish the packaging. Working quickly, this mother uses a special weaving technique to ensure preservation of the nutrients from the catch. Like all animals, even the alligator starts small. It is forced to struggle its way into the swamp and avoid being prey to an airborne predator. Here at age one, it is quite the swimmer. Powerful fenders help it remain motionless if desired. Hovering on the water's surface, the gators seek food and comfort from the elements. This king of the swamp can strike at any moment. This giant gator basks in the sun on a summer day. At 18 feet, he is one of the largest in the swamp. Taking a dip sounds like a good idea to him, but to anyone else it means danger, even to another alligator. Perhaps he is interested in another playmate. Nice try, but this smaller male won't bite on his invitation. While the alligators rule the surface above, another world lies beneath. Underwater is teeming with life due to plentiful, rich nutrients. This rainbow mac demonstrates its colorful jacket while searching for food. 
Even turtles make a journey of journeys annually, migrating from the Pacific to the swamps. Whether on the outskirts, above, or below, the swamplands are a place we must forever revere and never forget. At planet Earth, safety is of course our number Stay one inside. rule. Filming American alligators in the wild, however, can require exception to that rule. Small children were put at risk, but fortunately not harmed, to increase the alligator activity. Even professional expertise was sought in order to capture the incredible footage that only planet Earth can claim. Mr. Mike, come here. How do you feel having touched a crocodile tail? I got about a uh, hundred uh, megawatts of adrenaline going through my veins right now. That was fantastic. It's He's a, just been touched. It's a rather fleshy feel. Feels a bit like chicken, really. <laughs> Uncooked chicken.